Aprobado na sa ikalawang pagbasa ng Kamara ang Resolution of Both Houses No. 7 na nagtutulak sa Economic Charter Change. Bukod dito, nasut na rin sa ikalawang pagbasa ang panukalang naglalayong bawiin ang prangkisa ng SMNI. Si Melales Mora sa report. There is a motion to approve Resolution of Both Houses No. 7 on second reading. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those against say nay. The ayes have it. Resolution of both houses number seven is hereby approved on second reading. Lusot na sa ikalawang pagbasa ng Kamara ang Resolution of Both Houses No. 7. Ito ang magtutulak sa pag-amienda ng economic provisions ng Konstitusyon, partikular nitong nais baguhin ang patakaraan sa foreign ownership ng public utilities, education at advertising industries. Sa talakayan sa plenaryo, ilang mambabatas pa ang naghayag ng oposisyon sa resolusyon. Pero matapang na dumipensa ang mga proponent ng RBH 7. We have seen that because of our constitutional provision, we have limited and we have fewer direct investments in our country compared to our peers in the ASEAN. Certainly, this will be a very first step to be able to go forward to economic recovery for the best interest of the entire Filipino people. Sa isang prayer rally, una ng binatikos ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ang economic cha-cha na anay term extension lang umano ang punteria. Pero sinalagyan ng mga mambabatas ng kamera. Nag-statement naman po tayo na economic cha-cha po to. Purely economic cha-cha. Even if you watch the debates in the Senate, the House, wala naman pong pinag-uusapan tungkol sa politika. She kind of hit the parliamentary form of government. That's not on the table. That's not on the table. It's strictly economic. But if you want to even discuss that, we have to look into the accomplishment itself of the Duterte administration. And that is the passage of the Bank Samoro Organic Law. The Bank Samoro Organic Law is actually supposed to be a template for the federal form of government. So it's a little bit of an oxymoron for our dear former president to attack the parliamentary form of government and then in his time, in his administration, it is one of his greatest accomplishments for the Mindanao region. Bukod sa RBH 7, aprobado na rin sa ikalawang pagbasa ng Kamara ang House Bill No. 9710. Ito ang panukalang pagbawi sa prangkisa ng Suarezug Media Corporation na nag-ooperate sa business name na Sunshine Media Network International o SMNI. SMNI, being a member of KBP, was mandated to abide by the Broadcasters Code of the Philippines. However, as the committee hearing progressed, SMNI withdrew its membership, a clear manifestation that it did not want to be covered by the set of standards and ethics of broadcasting. During the course of six hearings spanning five months, the committee also discovered that SMNI committed grave violations of the terms of franchise, therefore warranting its revocation. Una nang nanindigan si Tabunting na dumaan sa tamang proseso ang kanilang mga hakbang ukol sa SMNI. Bago tuloy ang maipatupad ang franchise revocation, kailangan pa itong maipasa sa ikatlong pagbasa ng Kamara at dadaan pa rin ito sa Senado at sa Malacanang. Pagtitiyak ng mga mambabata sa lahat ng pagkakataon, kapakanan ng taong bayan ang kanilang prioridad. Melalas Moras para sa Pambansang TV sa Bagong Pilipinas. <music>